Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. One local financial institution says it is being affected by bank identification number bin cyber attacks. These kind of attacks involve criminals guessing the combination of a debit or credit card number, card verification value, and expiry date using brute force computing. Over the last week, Jamaicans have taken to social media, crying foul as thousands of dollars went missing from their accounts. A number of those complaints were linked to the JMMB group. The institution says it is aware of the ongoing cyber attacks affecting a number of its clients. These attacks are not unique to Jamaica. A number of clients say they have been affected by unauthorized transactions on their debit cards. JMMB Bank says it will investigate the issue thoroughly and restore clients' accounts based on the outcome of those investigations. The bank is urging clients to be vigilant and report any suspicious or unusual activity in their accounts. It's also asking cardholders to reduce the amount of funds held in accounts attached to their debit cards as this will reduce any potential financial loss resulting from cyber attacks. The Antigua and Barbuda-based airline LIAT 2020 is set to commence operations by June. The government in that country previously said LIAT 2020 was able was due to launch by the end of April. The carrier, which replaces the Caribbean government-owned LIAT, is seeking approvals from the Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority for the Air Operator's Certificate. This should come once the plane, which is now in its possession, has passed the second round of test flights. While the Antiguan government was willing to give a possible timeline, the chief executive officer of Air Peace Caribbean Limited stated that she cannot give a concrete date on when the airline will begin commercial flights. The Jamaican dollar gained 26 cents against the U.S. currency at the close of trading on Monday. Trading ended with banks and cambios selling the American dollar for an average $156.95. The Canadian dollar is being sold for $115.77. $194.97 is the average value of the pound, while the euro is going for $171.26. To the stock market now, the JSC index gained 975 points today, while the junior market increased by 25 points. Among the 48 winners, Paramount Trading Jamaica, JPS 7% shares, JMMB Group 7% shares, Lasco Financial Services and JetCon. The 46 losers were led by 138 Student Living Jamaica VR shares, Iron Rock Insurance Company, The Lab, T-Tech, and One Great Studio. 19 stocks closed the session, selling at the same price they started trading. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.